if there's a coin shortage, why can't I order coins but other people can? I think I found the answer. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it's just another Average Stacker coming back to you once again with a quick little video. And I wanted to share some information out with the coin roll hunters that are being so frustrated with not being able to get any coin right now and questioning why can some people continue to get them and others can't. And this came about from me trying to order coins that I was able to gain this information. Now, I am not going to say this is the situation for everybody, but I think it might help in getting some information that is helpful to you to understand what's going on. So I order my coin through three different uh, banks and multiple branches of each of those banks. And two of the banks flat out just say, no, we can't order any coin at all. But the third bank I've been able to continue ordering from, and I was really confused why one bank would be able to and another bank would. So I contacted um, the third bank, and I'm not going to mention the, the bank names, um, but I, contact, I have to actually contact the customer service department first and because you can't call directly into the branch and then they contact the local branch and handle the order that way. So I had called in to have them contact my local branch, my closest local branch, and tried to order four boxes of coin of half dollars. Um, because I know that it seems like people, it's much easier to be able to still get half dollars than others. Um, and secondly, that's pretty much all that I hunt. Um, so anyhow, she comes back a few minutes later and says, well, due to the national coin shortage, we are unable to order any coin. And I explained to her, I said, well, I find that very odd since other branches have been able to order them for me. And I asked her to reach out to one of the branches that have ordered for me in the past, uh, recently. And she said, no problem. So she contacts that branch and comes back on a few minutes later. And sure enough, they took my order for four boxes of half dollars with a caveat that it may take them a few weeks to be able to get them due to the shortage. And I was like, wonderful, that'd be great. And they said, contact back in three weeks um, to give them the time to get it. And so got that all taken care of. Then later on, I figured, you know what, if it's going to take a few weeks, let me try another branch that tends to have a box on hand pretty much all the time. Um, and so I called back to the customer service, called over, to, had them contact the other branch, see if they could order three boxes for me for next week. And they actually had the branch manager get on the phone to talk with me. And this is where the information um, was relayed to me as to kind of what's going on. So she comes in and says she can't order three boxes for me due to the shortage, but she can order two. So that prompted a question. It's like, well, what's, why is it that you can order two, but not three? And this was just for my own um, education. And she told me at that point that their banks are being limited by the Federal Reserve to a certain dollar amount of coin per week. So if she were to order me three boxes, $1,500 worth, it was going to cut into what their normal coin order is. But she could, she had room to be able to do a thousand. Then a light bulb went off in my head because the branches that have told me they can't order me any coin are extremely busy branches, whereas the ones that do order me coin are less busy. So if they're ordering lots of coin because that's what they need to operate for the week, they have no room to be able to squeeze in stuff for us. So I hope that this is helpful information to everybody. Um, if you are a coin roll hunter and you are having difficulty going to your normal branch, 
Maybe try a smaller branch a little bit further away. You may have some luck. On a side note, I want to comment on something that I've recently become aware of um, that I think is really horrible uh, with regards to the coin roll hunting community. Um, recently, I have found out that many people, due to the fact that they can't get quarters, have been raiding coin machines, change machines at local businesses such as car washes, laundromats, etc. Please, for the sake of people's livelihood, stop. You are practicing a hobby in our coin roll hunting. I don't know of anybody that does it for a living. By you going and raiding their machines, you are messing with that person's livelihood. Don't be an ass. Let them operate their business. This will all pass and you can get back to your hobby soon enough. I apologize for the strongness of my words, but you know what? It's pretty common sense. You don't mess with people's livelihood. If you have a problem with what I'm saying, leave. I don't care. If, if that's the type of person that you are, I don't want you a part of the family. But I had to make that known in the way that I feel and that I feel it is extremely, extremely rude and just a horrible thing to do to mess with somebody's business. Now, if you can work out a deal with them to exchange coins, wonderful. Do that. But don't just go empty their machine. Anyhow, I've said my piece. Um, I hope that this information gives you a little bit of hope and maybe trying some additional branches and get back to your hobby. Anyhow, this is just another average stacker saying thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my upcoming videos as they come out. Thanks again, everybody. It's just another average stacker saying until next time.